Metricoolers! Welcome back to another video in our Metricool tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about ads within the Metricool platform. We can run Google ads and Facebook ads as well as track the analytics for them and even track the analytics for your TikTok ads too. Let's go ahead and get on to the video. <laughs> So like I said, we're going to be talking all about ads today. So if you go up into the dashboard of the Metrical platform, you'll see that ads has its own respective section. I've already clicked into it. And when you first click into it, you'll always be brought to the campaigns page. But if you look on the left hand pane, you'll see that there's campaigns, keywords, create campaign and recommendations. I'm going to go through each of these sections in depth, especially the create campaign section. But before we get started into the nitty gritty of ads, I do want to just remind everyone that before you can even run ads, you have to make sure that your ads accounts are connected. The way that you check this is you need to go into your connections page. So I'm going to quickly go into that. Once you're in your connections page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see three connections, Facebook ads, Google ads, and TikTok ads. As you can see here for the Metricool account that I'm currently on, we only have Facebook ads connected but you can have all three connected if you would like. And when I actually go through the process of creating a campaign, I'm actually going to switch into the Metrical Spanish account because we do have all three connected over there. But I did want to show you the connections page. If you were to click on any of these to connect the ads account, it would take you straight to the respective platform for you to log in. So let's say you clicked on TikTok, it would take you to the TikTok for business page so you can make that connection. But Make sure that these are connected before you get started working with ads. So we're going to go back into the ads page and I'm going to quickly run you through each of the sections on the left hand pane and then we'll switch over to the other account so that I can go through the steps of creating a campaign with you. So like I said, when you click into ads, you're always going to be taken to the main campaigns page, which is the one I'm currently on. You can filter the time frame up here in the top right hand corner manually, or you can go ahead and pick from the presets. As you can see, I have mine set for the last 30 days. Over here on the right hand side, you'll also see your connected accounts. Like I said before, we only have Facebook ads connected, so that's why you're only seeing that little Facebook symbol over here. Then the campaigns are all going to be listed. And this doesn't necessarily just mean your active campaigns. If I scroll down, you'll see that I have some that are paused, and I'll have some that have been removed as well. But if you scroll down, you'll see both active and paused and removed. Then over here, you'll see a column selector. So we have everything selected, but let's say for example, you didn't necessarily care about seeing the start date. You can customize this to your liking so that you see the metrics and the categories that you care about the most. I'm just gonna leave them all toggled on for the purpose of the example of this video, but just know that you can customize that as you would like. And then if you scroll over, you'll see all of those different columns. You can also click into each of the ads to just get a little bit more information. So you can see, you know, your spent, your impressions, a little bit more detail there, but this is your overall campaigns page. Then I'm gonna click into keywords. So as you can see next to keywords, I also have that little Google ads symbol. The keywords is specifically for Google ads. And if I were to have Google ads connected, this page would look different, which I will show you when I switch over to the other accounts, but I did wanna show you just kind of the overall page. And it's basically a page to optimize your ad campaigns based on the quality of the keywords that you choose, which you will see a little bit more in depth when, once we run through that create campaign page. I'm gonna skip over create campaign and go to recommendations. And same thing, this is specifically for Google ads and this would show any recommendations for your ads and it helps you track the performance of your Google Ads account. So now that I showed you a little bit of an overview, I'm actually gonna switch into a different account, which is the Metrical Spanish account so that I can start to create a campaign and we can go through that step by step. So like I said, I'm switching over into the Spanish account so that I can show you that we have two different types of accounts set up. So as you'll see on the main campaigns page, you see that not only the Facebook symbol, but you'll see the Google Ads symbol since we do have both of those set up and I will actually really quickly show you as well what connections will look like once they're set up as you can see Facebook, TikTok and Google ads are set up on this specific account. So going back to the campaigns page, I wanted to give an overview of that, but we're going to start creating a campaign now. So we make it really easy for you to build out your ads. And before I get started, I do want to just say that there are step-by-step -step instructions on the bottom of each section of creating the campaigns as well as tips. 
if you ever run into a problem, this is a great place to start down here. And like, and it'll show for every single step that you have as you create those ads. So to begin, we're going to pick a campaign name. I'm going to call mine test for the purpose of the example, and you're going to pick a landing URL. So this landing URL is going to be where you want to drive traffic to from your ads. So for example, I think I just want to drive traffic to the website. So I'm just going to use metrical.com, but this will change depending on your ad parameters and what your goal is with your ads. So one really great thing about running ads within our platform is you can run Google ads and Facebook ads. You can create that campaign all at once, or you can just do one or the other. As you see, once I toggle on Google ads, it'll give me the campaign type. But if I toggle it off and just do Facebook ads, it'll give me the campaign objective. So things are going to gray out if they're not relevant to what type of ad you're doing. If I'm doing both, you'll see that they both toggle on. So for Google ads, I get to choose a campaign type. So I'm actually just going to do display since that's my only option. And similar to the step-by-step -step instructions at the bottom of the page, you'll also see that as you pick the parameters, you'll see that you'll get a small little explanation of what everything means. So for display, it says a set of websites, applications, and videos where your ads may appear. Now for Facebook ads, I wanna choose a campaign objective. Do I wanna focus on traffic or do I wanna focus on conversions? Let's say I want you to do traffic. Again, you'll get a little explanation, which is directing more people to a destination outside of Facebook, such as a website. So for example, if I wanted to drive traffic to metrical.com, this would be my campaign objective and I would choose traffic. Once you have picked your type and objective, you will then choose where you want your ads to display. So for Google, you only have one option. So that's already toggled on, which is the Google Display Network. But for Facebook, you have a couple more options. So you can choose to do the Facebook news feed, the Instagram feed, or you can choose Facebook or IG stories. For this example, I'm just going to do Facebook feed and Instagram feed, and I'm going to leave the stories not toggled on. So then you go to next step, and this is all about demographics. So this is going to be your location, your gender, your age, and the language. And these are going to be further parameters you set so that you can kind of see what your estimated audience size is and so you can really start targeting who exactly you want to see your ads. So for the location, I'm actually going to remove these presets and I am going to pick a new location. So I'm going to do the United States, of course, and we're going to leave it like that. You can get more specific, but I'm going to keep mine pretty general. For gender, I'm going to do all since I'm not targeting a specific one. I want this to go to everyone. And then for age, it's as easy as clicking which ages you want or which ones you don't want. So if let's say if I just wanted to target Gen Z, I would just toggle 18 to 24. Or if I wanted to target an older audience, maybe I would do 55 to and 65 plus. However, for this one, I'm going to do all of them. And then I'm going to keep the language as English. And you'll see that as you're making your changes, this estimated audience size is going to update as you do that. So let's go to the next step into audience. So this is just, like I said before, going to further narrow who you want your ads to be shown to. So for Google, it's going to be called audience and this is optional and so is interest on Facebook. So this is going to be what your target audience is maybe interested in. So let's say I'm trying to target people who are interested in social media. So if I just type social media, let's see what my options are. So I get women's media fans, men's media fans, social media enthusiasts, and media and entertainment. Some of these aren't necessarily relevant, but I would say social media enthusiasts is pretty relevant to who I'm trying to target, so that's what I would choose. I could do the similar thing for Facebook, and let's say I want to maybe go a little bit more targeted. So let's say I want to do social media marketing. And as you, you check these in, you'll see that the audience size is shown for these specific you know, interests. So you'll see that marketing in general is a humongous audience size. You'll see that digital marketing is a little bit smaller. Social media marketing is still very large, but a little bit smaller. So let's do social media marketing. And let's say I want to get even more specific. So let's say I want to target people specifically who are interested in influencer marketing. So I can see if I'm liking that audience size, it is a bit smaller. So I'm going to click that and that is what I'm going to set as the interest and the audience. And you'll see here that that estimated audience size is still updating as well. Then we're going to go into design. So this is where you're going to build out your ad for both Google and for Facebook. So you'll see right here for the ad logo, that is a requirement via Google. So you'll wanna make sure to add your logo. I'm gonna really quickly add in the metrical logo. 
already had that nice and ready to go. And then you can go ahead and choose to upload your ad picture or if it's a post that you've already made, that'll pop up over here on the right hand side that you can choose from. So I am just going to choose one of the ones that are already saved. Like I said, I'm using the Spanish account, so these will all be in Spanish, but I'm just going to pick a picture for the example. And then you're going to go down and start building more of the description and the other parts of your ad. So your business name, I'm going to put Metricool. We already have the URL set, the title. Let's say six SEO techniques. That's going to be the title of my ad. And then you're going to want to do a description. So let's say my description will be here are six techniques you should use for your SEO in your social media content. And of course, this will be different depending on what your ad is, but I'm just filling out these parameters. And then I'm going to go to the preview and you'll see here that these two are grayed out. And that's because those were the Facebook and Instagram stories that we decided not to do placements in. But because we did decide to do the Facebook feed, the Instagram feed, and Google ads, you'll see that you can actually preview those. So if you click into each of these, you'll see them to be slightly different just depending on the placement. So this is what it would look like for Facebook. You'll see here is my description and you'll see the photo. You'll see the landing page that I'm trying to go to, which is of course metrical.com. If I click onto Instagram, it's a little bit different, but for the most part, it's fairly similar. It'll show you know, my description, it'll show the photo I chose, and then here is Google. And you'll see that that logo is added in on certain sections. So this is where you preview your ad, make sure you like what it looks like, if you need to make any changes, if you need to upload a different picture, all of those changes of what the design of your ad is gonna look like is built in this specific page. So once you're happy with your design, you can go ahead and go to the next step, which is going to be your budget. So at this point, we're almost done. And of course, your budget and your campaign duration are going to be how much money you're trying to put into this ad. And then the duration is how long that ad is going to run. So you'll see right here, it says average daily budget. That's how much money you want to spend each day. So let's say I want to spend $50 every day. Then you're going to go into your bid cap. So your bid cap can either be automatic or it can be manual if you do want to set it a little bit more to your preferences. I'm going to keep it out automatic, but if I were to click manual, you'll see here that I can put in a max CPC and for Google ads, I can click this button that says enhance CPC. Again, this is your preference. If you do want to do that manually, I'm just going to do automatic and select my bid strategy for Google ads. So you can do maximizing conversions or you can do target CPA. I'm going to do maximize conversion. And then you're going to pick your start date and your end date. I usually just do the day that I'm building this out. But of course, you can change this. Like, let's say you are scheduling your ads out ahead of time. So it necessarily doesn't need to start today. You can change that as you please. And you can change your end date as you please. So I'm actually just going to do until the 10th. Let's just say that. I've picked that. And to reiterate, just remember that you can always look at the steps and the tips at the bottom for any extra help. Once you're happy with that, you're happy with your estimated audience size, you'll go to the next step. And this is going to be the summary page. So this is going to show you in one nice page every single step that you just completed. And this is where you can go ahead and double check everything is to your liking. If you need to change something, let's say that you want to narrow down your age preferences. Or let's say you want to put a little bit more money towards your ad. This is a great place to just make all of those final revisions so that you can see if you need to go back and change anything, which if you did need to go back, you could just go ahead and click on previous step and make adjustments as needed. But for me, this all looks good. I'm happy with it. And then you would just go ahead and hit create campaign. By clicking create campaign, your, say your changes are all going to be saved. And then from here, the ad is going to be sent to the respective platform to get approved. So your ads do need to get approved. A lot of the times they won't start running right away. You need to be approved by Facebook or by Google. But once they get approved, they will start running and then we will be able to start collecting those metrics. And that is how you really quickly create an ad with us in the Metrical platform. Now, before I had shown you both the keywords and recommendations page on the English account and it didn't show anything because again, we didn't have Google ads connected. So I do really quickly want to show you what those pages look like with a connected ad account. So if you go into keywords and you do have your Google ads connected, it's going to pull in your keywords and it's going to, you know, let you select the campaign, select the ads group. It's going to give you a search score, a creative score, a landing score, and you can really, you know, 
look at your keywords, see what is working for you, maybe what isn't, and, you know, modify as needed. So this is a really great way for you to adjust your ads and, you know, help them to perform better. And then if you go into recommendations, this is going to be the campaign recommendations page. So the difference with this is because we do have Google ads connected, I can click analyze campaigns and it's going to analyze my campaigns and give me recommendations if needed. So if I were to click analyze campaigns, it would start to gather that data. So luckily it says all of our campaigns are optimized. So we just got this little check mark and it says we have analyzed all your campaigns and we don't have any recommendations, but if they did, they would all appear here. And once your ad is approved, you will start to see it appear here in the campaigns page and you'll see it running as active. So you can always check on your campaigns and the status of them here, as well as some quick overviews of those insights. But we also do have more in-depth analytics for your campaigns. So we're actually going to switch gears from ads to our analytics section now. So we're going to go straight into analytics and we're going to scroll down on the left-hand pane. And you're going to go down here to Facebook ads, Google ads, and TikTok ads. And we have them nicely separated out. So you can track all of your campaign analytics here. You can see the reach, the results, the performance, and you can also see that list of campaigns again. You can change the time frame and you can see how everything is performing. Similarly to Facebook ads, we can do the same with Google ads. So see the reach, your results, your performance over a period of time, your revenue and your list of campaigns. And like I said earlier, we do also have the ability to track your TikTok ad campaigns. So these are ads that you have created within TikTok. If you connect your business account, you can go ahead and see how those campaigns are doing right within the Metropole platform. So we can see the reach, the results, the performance, and you can also see the list of campaigns if you do have any ads running on TikTok, which is just another nice little addition to our platform that you are able to see those results. So like I said earlier, we make ads really easy and don't forget to follow those step-by-step -step instructions as well as the tips on the bottom of each page when you are creating those campaigns. It is really helpful. And this is just a great way to also, you know, start getting familiar with ads and seeing if they will work for your social media strategy. And that's everything you need to know about ads. Go ahead and get started running some ads and tracking those analytics. Don't forget to use the code try free to try any of our premium plans for free for 30 days. Make sure to check the description box for timestamps if you need to refer back to anything. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>